Yeah. Sweet. Yeah. Back to school now. So in Chuo, you've started first year and in Nini, you haven't. Let's talk about now the, the formation of the first business that you set up was 254. Entertainment, yes. Okay, let's talk about that. So I set up 254 Entertainment in 2008. What year are you? Second year, third year? Second year. Second year. So because I joined in 2006. So how you say you work is you join in September, the year ends in August. Yep. Then another cycle. So now this is my second year cycle now. Okay. Right? 2008. And um, so I set up as a business name, Nini. I didn't know much about Biashara. I just knew I wanted to, I wanted to grind, and the reason I set up my company was um, I wanted to be on top of the food chain. Mm. I've always been a go-getter, Esther. Mm. Like I wasn't comfortable earning the 20, 30, 50 Gs thing. I wanted more. I've always, even today, I want, I'm trying to figure out how I can take my rate card higher or how I can get many more revenue streams. Mm. Like I'm a serial entrepreneur, and I see opportunity, I jump in. Like my risk appetite is high. I've also learned a lot. And so obviously now it's very selective where I put the chum. Yep, yep, yep. But you know, I was hungry, hungry. So I wanted to do events. I didn't want just to be called for an event. I wanted to organize the, the event. events. Uh -huh. So that's that's where for entertainment came from. So we, we started off doing parties. Um, so, so I started as a business name. Then I grew into the agency. So we incorporated now because mm -hmm. as a, as a, as you're dealing with corporate brands, you re, you'll find some requirements that they need. They want certificate of incorporation. Yep. They want uh, memats. They the want uh, CR12. Yeah. They want a spin certificate. Mm -hmm. They can't deal with just a business name. Uh, they want to deal with a company. A fungo account. Give me an ETR receipt. So mm -hmm. those things I was learning on the go. Mm -hmm. I never knew stuff. So I, <laughs> I'm getting a guy who works for KRA to teach me. Uh, it's like an accountant for well, the, the guy side. actually taught yeah. you huh? yeah so he used to teach me like this is what you need get a stamp where do you get a stamp he'll get for me so mm -hmm. like i put him on a container for his services he'll show me this way you get an etr machine this is how you work on it because the last no type in the selected the wrong yep. input yep, yep, yep. <laughs> so yeah business owners will appreciate and it. let so, me say without yes. an etr machine people think you that cannot can be event. paid there's an amount of money you can never earn more yeah, yeah. There's, there's, uh, legally, yeah. there is an amount of money that you will never make. Yeah, without if, if that. If you want to enter the millions, forget yeah. forget yeah. having conversations without those documents. Correct. So you have to set up a company and encourage you nowadays when, big shout out to the government. Uh, I've been a, a very a extreme critic of this government because I campaigned for them. I mm. know exactly what they promised for young people. And this time, at this time, you've not, you've not. 2017, I didn't uh, touch campaigns not, because I didn't feel. No, 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 no. What I mean is, that. at this time, where you're setting up this company, at Ujengi elections. Not yet. Oh, okay. Sweet. But I'm just saying because nowadays it's easier to set up a company. Yes. You did yeah, online. It's so easy, bana. You citizen, the judo mm. it's, it's, it's not fixed. It's not free. Ten thousand four hundred fifty I mean. shillings, and uh, within a week. If all your documents are in, in order, you'll get your paperwork. You get your everything in one. CR12, your memos, you can download them, you get your certificate, and you also get your PIN. Mm. In my day, you have to figure out where time starts. Wow, 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 wow. You go register. We registered for the wrong for the wrong <laughs> tax bracket. So later I'm finding penalties. So you have to later now clean up your accounts, pay penalties. Oh Lord, it's we've gone through it all. I've gone through it all. But you, you learn, you, so you are recovering from mistakes that you did not know any better when you are making them. And that is the journey of life. Yep. It's not about perfection, it's all about trying to be better. And once you, 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 you make a mistake, you rectify. You do a remedial action and you move forward. Um, so I set up my company, we started doing events. We used to call our events Party in the Bush at KWS. So you also you created your own event, yeah. so you created your own asset. Exactly. So I'd learned how Blackstar did it. And I'm also observing what other guys are doing in the market. So I'm like, let me do my own gig. So 254 Entertainment presents Party in the Bush. We're going to KWS, entry is U200 to 50 or whatever. And it's Shere for young guys. Mm. Bombay, you may negotiate, it's quite cheap. Shorts, 50 bob. Um, beers, like 150. Know what I mean? Mm. King Ilione, and you're the one who's, you're the one who's organizing and, and then getting the different suppliers. Yeah, I'm coordinating now logistics, what event managers are, are, yeah. are, are, are supposed to do. So I'm doing it myself. And then I'm looking for sponsors. So like one of my sponsors was Zane. Mm. The sponsor, the Zane Africa Challenge, once, twice. So in, interestingly, now when I was uh, being paid by their agency, that was ZK Advertising at the time, they asked me for those ETR things. I didn't have, that's why I had to go incorporate. So mm -hmm. I incorporated in 2009 mm -hmm. because they couldn't release my payment. Yep, yep, yep. So the lady was like, just figure out how to get this to us mm. and attach it to the invoice. Mm. So Riangu, 
sana ni kuuliza uliza wa sasa nini obviously msa yule ana kushot ana dai zake una una break off hiyo ndio kunaendanga kwa street that's great yeah. so this was the official now setup of 2524 that's how we began so are you still being called now to mc gigs and all those yes, of course yes i'm doing everything plus now events Okay so how, where does this company go now so so with music you get now yeah. at this time you're like hey by the way una's a chill yeah so with yeah so so music I was doing once once I wasn't very consistent with music now in between there I did other songs like funga mshipi hiyo mm. I did uh, kamwa kamwa with jomino I did shake later after then I teamed up with jalango we did a satire called katumbu dance hey hii ni bwana Okay. This song is dedicated to everybody who likes to have a good time. Gonna do for the tumbo yako. Remember to bring a brand new dance. Go katumbo dance. dance, katumbo. Katumbo dance, katumbo. Katumbo dance, katumbo. Katumbo dance, katumbo. Hey, mama mama soka bele. Bele bele. Bele yuma. Let's go. Yuma bele. Yuma kando. Tinda put la familia the after we did uh, we go hard we did draw chuma sakado So so music was 
you know it was just that thing i was doing also just kubamba wase ni kmc na piga pia zongo mazangu moja mbili you know mm. but mc took the, the, the primary focus mm. and then the company so with the company before even incorporated i was getting jobs out of referrals and based on the fact that i i know a lot of young people and i can mobilize young people towards a certain agenda yep and that's what experiential marketing became for me that i can create memorable experiences for youth so youth became my core target audience i now manage how to link the consumer and the brand mm. Mm. and with vibrant entertainment in the middle mm. making sure this experience and creative ways of, two, of communicating the product to yes, the consumer is exciting it's different mm. it's unique so every time i'd come up we call it mechanics different mechanics or execution mechanics for each brand mm. like how we'll activate coke is not how we'll activate tasca yep it's not how we'll activate airtel it's not how we'll push uber mm. it's different so coming up with those solutions for corporates so that now ushered in a whole new paradigm shift or oh, i said of being subcontracted by other agencies like take two communications subcontracted me for celtel idols celtel talk talk campaign um and then now when when that expired and the and the senior leadership changed the zane team when you know because zane was bought by now, sorry zane bought celtel yeah the pardon so they asked me if i'm interested in in being one of their agencies yo yeah because i'd worked on their brand mm-hmm. and i'd go for meetings with with this other client yep because dng was the point man for you i get get so when when the, when the agency is being asked okay what is your plan for activating in youth uh, youth uh, inst- youthful institutions bars horecas etc horecas hotels restaurants clubs dng is the one asked to speak mm. so i'll tell them okay we've got an appointment brand ambassadors in jquart uh karen jk what westlands jk what was ku usu you know happy so that's now i'm meeting in ababu mm. and and getting them to sign our activation authority as sonu leader so these are these are so when you're activating university you have to deal with the student leadership you can't you just KU, jump talk it. to kusa go to usu you talk to sac you can't just walk into a, a university either that or you go to the administration mm. there's some schools now that uh the administration like ZTEC, hands it example, over to yeah yeah ZTEC, for example has a Uh, a rate card for activation so you go to that main and uh, main block sales office and 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 you pay and, and you you're given authority mm. to come in and engage the student body others it's kigangsta mm. so no <laughs> to end <laughs> big shout out man like like those guys facilitated us so you went to meet babu yeah so, through so friends you, you get introduced you you call somebody who you know is studying in KU can you introduce me to the the leader of a student let's say because there's entertainment yeah, the captain there's mm. what or the chairman or the vice chairman president depending on what they are called and those referrals so you go and meet them they give you a fee you pay and then you activate <laughs> and we charge the client the fee yeah, of course of course we call it a mobilization mm. yeah mm. so you have to pay break off bro it's important in the industry mm. yeah ule msia amekusainia wanakupeleka paka kwa head of security kwa dean anahakikisha muhuri na stamp and it's legit mm. yo this is deep so you get if I, let me say this i wanted to say this when you're talking about being an mc i was an mc for groove awards There's something that you were saying when you were explaining yourself being the MC. My capability as an MC because of my English was limited to a certain audience. Audience. Mm. I killed it with my audience. The guys who got me, they could get me. Mavuno <laughs> wasn't in touch, bro. Who can't touch me. Yeah. Oh, I used to see or, you read, or, or in some, read the notices in or, Mavuno. Or, yeah. or in some different spaces which have a certain target audience. Correct. Um, I can kill it on that And place. That's how brands are, man. Every exactly. brand talks to a different audience. But this is what why I brought this story up. Because bra you are talking about different demographics. Mm. You you're talking about going from Lamu yeah. to Nyeri to Nairobi and in Nairobi you're talking about Karen all the way down until Islando. Yeah. Dandora you can do a gig there and still connect. You get even post election violence I did a campaign called Kenyan Musicians for Peace Initiative. Remember that? Mm, mm. It was funded by Oxfam and DFID. Yep, 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 yep. Uh, and a consortium called PeaceNet. So myself and a friend of mine, Lal Farmaton, uh, who we had done fungam shipping with, we went and solicited for funding to to engage in in hot spots that were burning.
ladies and gentlemen This time we're coming through with a brand new team We're doing something special for the nation right about now Every city and every population D&G, Alfama, Tom, Mr. Bruno To go, 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 it is what it is, ladies and gents. You know what it do. She gets to kill them. She's a child of my children. I'll see you. You got me on the show. I'll see you. 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 I'll for many years T- who do you okay now of course right now there are different mcs who 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 got the hype so you'd say you pioneered this you can on camera say before me there were those jack of guys who there was been. none i told you when i started it was myself and dj nijo only any other mc you've heard of before my time name them i can't in fact after after the one closest to that who i can think of is only alemba and that's from the gospel side but alemba even came, still, it's yeah it's much later much i'm talking about before dng nada it's the comedians and some radio presenters like uh, minor kageni Kyo. my boy minor mc beats of the season and i was in form one yep 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 <laughs> minor was done announcing bi
Mm. That's why they are fans, mm -hmm. and that's why they are being fought. Yeah, <laughs> exactly. <laughs> uh, WhatsApp has disrupted SMSs yep. and calls and video calls like and word and yeah. sharing of documents. Mm. You don't need to have an email account. You can do everything on WhatsApp. Even all my clients are like, send WhatsApp. You know what I mean? Mm. Even reports nowadays, this is WhatsApp. Mm. You and you report on the go. You know what I mean? Mm. You gotta disrupt. So for me, I saw, I, you have to look at the opportunity. So that's what a SWOT analysis mm. is. What was your weakness? My weakness, to be frank, is that I also felt like because I'm, I'm coming in after, um, after comedians or coming in against comedians, I have to be a funny guy. I had to battle with that a little bit. I had to battle with it a little bit uh, because I felt like perhaps there was an expectation that any MC has to crack jokes. But for me, my jokes, Esther, is not for. Ati, I'm, I'm doing a skit. Yeah, it's my jokes. Who's in a tokeanga? Nini na roast muse? Eh, la roast muse. Fun stuff too. Like what I do, I used to do on Happy Hour on Switch TV. It's just fun times. But it's not that I come up with a skit that I've rehearsed and I'm going to tell a joke like this. It's going to start here. Just off the cuff. Man is in a tamba when in a cam. You get what I mean? It's just off the cuff, impromptu. Inform, uh, thinking of my feet and just in, uh, connecting with my audience. So I feel, sometimes I even feed off my audience. Like I can see someone in the crowd doing some crazy stuff. I pull up the music. I'm like, wow, good job. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. If I understand, I give him merchandise, t-shirt, nini, nini. And I engage. I'm open and I'm a people's person. So people are able to connect with me easily. Naenda kisi, naongea kisi. Nifundishe. Naongea kidogo. Naongea ukambani, naata yu. We must say, now I'm here. Now I'm here. Kisumu, eh? The Nadi Mabe, eh? One or the I'm with them. I I just adapt to my audience as I go, real time. Even if we make a fool of ourselves and say it's okay, it's part of the show. And then I always remember to plug in the brand. So I, I'm hitting all check boxes: client, consumer, nini, ta 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 ta. In one, in one. That is unmatched. Okay, but let's let's go to this story because we still, you know, we still so much. First of all, we haven't even touched radio, TV. Where does radio come in? So, so actually, no, even before radio, you started employing guys. Now you're employing guys in this once you incorporate the company. Yeah, in 2009 is now when I began like seriously. Uh, I realized that this is is a serious thing and it has potential to earn me money. Mm. 